Uh, well, this is Port Credit Memorial Arena. Uh, this is where I learned to, to play, I learned to skate, and definitely learned to play on my first hockey team. It's um, crazy looking back on it and kind of where I am now versus where I was back here, kind of dreaming of becoming an NHL hockey player. I fell in love with the game at such a young age that I just kind of made a decision that I was going to be like, whatever I have to do to make it, I'm prepared to do that. The two things that I focus on the most right now would obviously be uh, my profession, playing hockey and trying to perfect that craft as much as possible, and um, as well as managing my uh, glucose levels. I put a lot of time and effort into that, and uh, just as I would uh, invest in whatever I had to do for the hockey side of things and getting better as a hockey player, um, I'm investing in just as much, if not more, in my own health and uh, ensuring that my um, sugar levels are as stable as they need to be to perform at my highest level. The hockey stuff is big, but your health is always going to be number one. Because without your health, you're not going to be able to do all this stuff. So this is the first one you got to worry about, and that's something that doesn't sleep. So that's why they literally are intertwined 24-7. Everything I do for the 24 hours leading up to a puck drop is actually going to dictate how I feel and how I perform. The reality is, is as much as nurses and doctors are so incredible, they don't necessarily know what it feels like to be out there for a 45 minute high tempo practice or a 60 minute game where you're out there every other shift. So at a younger age, before I had more guidance in that specific area, it was a lot of like tweaking and learning by myself. Before, I, I'm not even exaggerating, I'd probably have to prick my finger 10 to 20 times a day. Once I got my sensor, my Dexcom G6, I was able to fully take control of, out of every variable that I had control of. To build that toolbox as much as you possibly can, to allow you to not focus on that as much as you would have in the past, it, it allows you to just focus on the hockey aspect. The alerts that you get now from the Dexcom is just, it's, it's a game changer. It's, it's a total game changer. When you have those arrows or those two arrows going in which, whatever direction, you can actually plan for something that you've never been able to plan before. Or when your glucose levels are uh, fluctuating as much as mine do, it allows you to get ahead of that. Having my Dexcom G6 has allowed me to worry so much less about struggling to get asleep, struggling to stay asleep. The name of the game nowadays is recovery. If you can't recover, you're not going to be able to perform. It's allowed me to get the best sleep I've ever had since being diagnosed, and I'm super thankful for that. That's for sure, because good recovery means more fun when you're in the gym, and more fun in the gym means better results on the ice. You're gonna fall down a few times. I got cut twice, two years in a row. It sucks. You embrace that and you get better, um, both as a person, as a hockey player. And then from there, you, you make the NHL finally, and then at that point, every single day, including today, is, is, a, is a struggle, it's a grind to stay there. Because you got 700 other players that are doing exactly what you're doing and more, and then you got a million other people that are trying to get to where you are. So there's just so much competition along the way. It's a little bit like, it gives you anxiety a little bit. It's not how we really look at it. We look at it, okay, this is our dream. We make the most of it. And uh, it doesn't sleep, it really doesn't because I go to sleep every single night thinking about what I'm gonna do the next day to get better. I wake up every morning getting ready to get better every single day um, in terms of nutrition, recovery, preparation. For me as a hockey player, the, the different steps that you have to kind of reach um, to kind of get to that next level is, is, is crazy. And there's, there's such a long ride and so many people that you need help from. So, I mean, I go back to literally my time here, um, but I couldn't necessarily tell you that I'd be at the top of my game without being able to monitor my glucose levels via Dexcom. It's, it's making this disease so much more manageable for everyone involved.